Hopefully, oh, let me get the, what, oh, is it working? It's working, I think it's working. Uh, so yeah, welcome again. Uh, here's today's project. <clears throat> we have a supercharger cover to a Corvette um, LT4 engine here. Uh, this is, you know, the supercharged engine and this goes over the very top. So we're gonna be doing a sunken ship and we're going to be doing it surrounded by sharks. Um, let me grab something real quick. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, that's our project for today. And I was just making sure to rinse out the airbrushes real quick before we started. And... Today, we will be using the Wicked Opaque Sets. The Wicked Opaque Sets. Uh, just to, uh, it's actually gonna make it super easy because the opaques are just gonna pop up on the black super good. And uh, for anybody wondering, all I've done to this cover is uh, yesterday I spent the whole day, we were kind of sanding it down, made it sure it was nice and smooth. And then I laid some Audubon black sealer. I uh, did a few coats of that and we let it sit overnight. So now it's ready for some artwork. And yeah, got these stencils cut up and it should make for a nice interesting time. Let me turn down this music real quick. I feel like it's too loud. What's up, Dan? How's it going, man? Hello, hello. Also, if you haven't already, we're running a giveaway. If you look over in the chat or down below the video, you'll see the link to the giveaway. Make sure you go and sign up, get your entries in. Um, it's real easy to enter. All you gotta do is subscribe to our channels. The system checks to make sure you're, you're, you're subscribed and you're good to go. Make sure you subscribe because if you don't subscribe, then it won't count. So. So yeah, anyway, let's get started today. And uh, he kind of sent me a picture of this boat, right? Or this ship kind of underwater. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. And uh, So uh, he sent me this. Yeah. Uh, let's see if you focus. This picture here, right? And it has dolphins on it. He's like, I like the ship, but not the dolphins. You know, maybe we made those sharks. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, you're at work? Yeah, that's no problem. You could always catch it later on. It'll be here. And it's going to take me a while, so maybe, I don't know how long, how much longer you have left on, at work, but there we go. And how's it going, Eric Todd? How's it going? So I'm going to start by layering in some, uh, we have the whole set of the Wicked Opaques here. So I'm going to use the darker blue here, which is the Opaque Thalo Blue. The Opaque Thalo Blue is what I'm going to be using to start off. So you can see there, Thalo. Doing okay, that's good, good to hear. Make 
sure our airbrush has got all the cleaner out of there. And I'm going to try to spray this like straight out of the bottle right now just so that we can get some good coverage. Um, we're not trying to keep spraying, uh, you know, paint on here. Maybe throw a little bit of reducer. I don't know. We'll see how it acts. That spray's pretty good. Uh, so you want a really nice deep blue up here up at the top. And these stencils I have on here are just paper. And I don't really care if it gets messed up. I just need the impression of the shark. Because we are going to put some detail into these. It's not just going to be a silhouette. But I just need to, I'd need the proper impression of a shark. Also these here, we get these to not move. Again, these we just need the, the impression, the proper impression of a ship. And then I'm going to go back and we're going to detail it all out. Add all those uh, lines, ropes. What are those called? I'm not a ship person. I don't know what it's called. I just know how beautiful it looks when I admire it from afar from the poor people aisle. <laughs> and so I'm going to just mix up, mix down a bunch of uh, tones here. So I have the thalo blue in here. And all I'm going to do is, is throw in some daylight blue into here. And we're going to start mixing it down to where eventually we're in the daylight blue and maybe even some green tones to start working in our bottom here. Are the t-shirt stencils like the heart available on your on your website? No. So kind of made it a point with my stencils to not sell like uh, anything that I feel like you could already get and or find and instead focus on stuff that maybe is is harder to find and harder to get and and or is going to provide you the best um, in the long run, you know, you could you could use it the most um, and it's usually designs are harder to find uh, for those certain things um, so that's kind of how I went about it if I, if I sold hearts then I had to sell stars and circles and you know then I just start selling balls and stuff and I feel like I have videos explaining how to how to uh, make stencils so you know sometimes you just got to help yourself a little bit Again, just going to take this lighter blue, going to start working in some tones around. And I put in the daylight blue with the thalo blue. And then I just threw in like a little drip of reducer, right? Just to help it flow and to help the colors kind of mix in together. And I'm just going to work it in nice and light. Light little strokes. Work it in nice and lightly. Let's get you guys in there. Get you guys in the zone over here. Yeah, exactly. I actually have a video um, for members. Uh, so uh, if you're like on the early access tier, that video is going to drop today, right after I finish this live stream. Um, explaining the types of paint and what you should be using and stuff. And, and yeah, if if you don't know, just Google, you know how to make a stencil for airbrush. And if you don't know how to make a heart, uh, go up on the Discord and tell me you don't know how to make a heart. And I, I will literally, <laughs> I'll make a quick little Discord, uh, you know, chat with you to, to <laughs> show you. A real, it's a real easy way to make a heart, you know, so. All you can see I'm just building in that blue a little by little. I'm gonna build in maybe some rays coming in from the from the shark up here. Right. We want that dropping in right onto our ship here. And build it up going around. Into this shark over here. Just 
kind of working it in. It's starting to get brighter little by little. And I'm not going heavy with it. It's just nice and light. So you want to build in that tone to this brighter side over here. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of the opaque white, opaque, uh, got to reach in behind here. And I'm just going to drop in a couple drops, no more reducer or nothing. Um, but we're going to start uptoning it, the blue. But I also want it to be kind of a, you know, I don't want to build up a, like a fluorescent blue. So that's why we're starting to add white in now. Um, we want kind of more of a, almost like a pastel -y blue. So that's what we're going for. Um, we're going to start building that in over here. So again, we have that nice dark surface on this side and then it's like the sun's kind of beaming in over here we are going to put sun rays and stuff but kind of want to build it up build up that background cool so now we've got our our nice new mix and that opaque white man it really like i you've seen i just added a few drops and it changed our color a lot and it's really making it pop even when you're layering it in nice and easy like this you can see that it's, it's a lot brighter than it was with just a couple of drops of paint made all that difference so just kind of building it up next to it you can see it's the dark kind of going to the light here that's all i'm doing Building it down. Now this looks like a particular good color to start building in the seafloor. So this uh, picture here has a little bit of a, a sea bottom where the ship is kind of sitting on. Um, so let's see here. All right, so we have kind of a, a nice little ledge here where it just happened to land on and so we're going to build the tone off of there there going that way just like that then we have a nice little see here we have that little seabed where it's sitting on then we have kind of the the distant seabed over here and that's going to sit something like this And I kind of want this to be, you know, free handed in kind of soft and blurry compared to the ship and the, and the sharks, because that's our main focal point is these uh, sharks and the ship. So just kind of fill that in nice and slow. Now on something like this that has the ridges, right? From like, you gotta make sure you hit it kind of from, from the angles. Make sure you get the ridges on both sides. So no matter what angle somebody's looking at it from, you're made sure you got that area covered in. Just a pro tip right there. There you go. You were confused where you put in the chances to win? What do you mean? Does it, does it, is it, does it sound confusing? Do I need to change it? Let me know if I need to change it. I know you wouldn't just say that for no reason. If it's confusing, let me know. I'm trying to make it easy for everybody to understand and everybody to enter. Just trying to make sure we get everybody in there and everybody has a good time with the giveaway. Cool, we got that in there. I 
I've got it nice and smooth, nice and even. Going across there. I, think I need to build it up more a little bit over here. Make sure I get all the angles. And I'm just, again, these are very light sprays. I'm building up the tone on there. If I was to just go a really heavy spray, it would just instantly cover. Um, but, you know, that's why we're just kind of trying to build it up, build up the color on there. And we're not trying to oversaturate the surface right away. That could end up causing you more problems than, than good. So, just going to take another few drops of white. <laughs> oh, there, Todd. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. That's a good one, bro. So just a little bit more white in there. Again, that, that opaque white really makes it nice. Nice and easy to, to shift your tones and you don't have to keep mixing up a bunch of bottles, especially like on a one offset piece like this, um, you know. Cool. Make sure it's all nice and mixed up. Good. And we're really just going to bring that all the way around. Get a stencil real quick. Just got me a few stencils, just trying to decide which one's here. So I have the part of the new skull stencil number two is uh, this, this texture here. I'm just going to use this to start building in kind of the, the back C drop there. Use the compressor. It's 
going to happen. Uh, Tim, I don't know what uh, what you're saying there. Uh, BSP, BSPP, and all seem. I, I'm not sure what BSP and BSPP. You're talking about the other end, right? You're talking about the end where you connect to the compressor. What's up, 50 nuts? How's it going? What's up, James Melton? How's it going? Uh, I, I believe you guys can hear me pretty good over the compressor. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the other side, on the typical Iwata hose, it's a quarter inch fitting. Or is it a three eighths fitting? I, I, I was certain it was a three eighths fitting. Now, I'm, now I might, it might be a quarter inch. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's about all I can say right now. Um, so I have a little bit too much blue left here. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. And we're going to add a little bit more white here. Then just toning it up and building up our blue here. And I'm pretty much at the point where I could just add, I could probably switch over to the, the daylight blue. But we'll see what this mixture looks like. You fear the scat man coming in with three dollars. Thank you, thank you. This is scat man. Are you like? Are you? Hold on, I have questions. Scat man, are you a member of the Skull Squad, or are you just like not a member and you're like screw being a member? I'm just gonna. I'd just rather donate my money instead, which if that's the case, I mean, it, it's you, do you? But I mean, you, you could have got a membership for two dollars. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the three dollars. And yeah. So this white's mixed in pretty good. Gonna start building it in over here. And each time I'm just moving a little bit farther away from the, from the dark. You know, every time just moving a little bit farther away. And I do want to bring it all the way around. Like, it's almost like there's just something wrong with that shark. You know, there's just a dark something right there.
Oh, you are a member. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Again, just building in nice and light. I'm not trying to, you know, it's not just like, ooh, I mixed up a brighter. Now let's just hammer it in. No, it's like, just take your time, build it in nice and easy. So now I'm gonna take some of this here. Can I maybe put it over a little bit? All we're doing is building a there's another layer that's kind of in the back over there and it looks a little different than the last one you know and then he comes down a little bit right here see that just a little bit just a little bit going off there that's all you need and it lets you know something's out there but it's, it's hard to say what All those slight graduations in color this is where they start paying off you know you just really just kind of take your time cool same thing over here see this is the Maybe there's like some weird you know, underwater plants growing right here. Give it a little, a little detail into there. Oh man, I, 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 need, I need it to be higher. Let me get a bench real quick. It's either it needed to be higher or I needed to be lower. Either one, either one works. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like you see, you could go in here on these and you start giving them a little, a little love. What are those? Uh, I see these uh, all the time in like the National Geographic, and they kind of they look like they would suck something in. I don't know what they're called. I wish I knew what they're called. I need to live closer to the ocean to, to know what stuff like that is. We're just gonna highlight some of these in with, with this current blue we, we mixed up. My face goatee glasses. <laughs> That's funny because all I see is a T for, for Tim Miner's profile pic. You see that there? We got all that in there. Maybe just going to show a little love. Maybe just, just one of these little reef areas coming in right here. Just going to kind of freehand it in, build it in. Again, we want stuff to be kind of a little bit blurrier as it kind of moving away, just to give it a little bit of depth of field effect. And you always kind of want to make sure you kind of just 
around the edges of like this particular stencil sitting at the bottom in those nice dark areas just kind of give it an extra little pass around just to give it that nice little extra glow and maybe we have some seaweed growing over here just kind of going up you know just some of them are getting the white right highlight from the sun over here there's all different kinds of little sea life. There ain't gonna be many fishes in this area though, because there's these sharks here. They ain't gonna do nothing. We we'll just give a little bit right here, just a little highlight, just to make it kind of, you know, that's kind of in the foreground, but then all this kind of sits in that shadow spot. Um, it looks pretty good right there. Build it up around a little more. So now on these particular sharks up here, I do want some sun rays kind of just draping off of them, right? So I want like one kind of coming this way. And I'm just going to build it in nice and easy. Maybe another one right here, All right? Just nice and easy. Just the sun is shining through this guy up here, right? Nothing crazy. Come on down. You see, there's that little bit of dark shades of blue in here. And then we got another little sun ray coming this way. And then we're gonna hit some, just some, right off of this guy over here. And then we're gonna hit the top of the water, maybe just a, a couple like uh, waves, you know, just kind of showing through over here. Cause this guy is up here splashing at the top of the water, right? He's, he's kind of messing with some fish up here, so just a little bit of waves coming in right here. And this guy's trying to dive down into the darkness. This guy's over here messing around, right? Just, just building a little bit of the waves, and that's where that sunlight's kind of coming in. Just gonna take so now it's just a little bit of blue left in there I'm just gonna take a little bit more white and this time I'm gonna throw a little bit of reducer in there because I'm throwing more white than I would normally and I want it to just overtake the blue and mix in real good to give us our final like kind of background tone before we throw some green in there and some other colors So again, I hope everybody has entered the giveaway. If you've made it this far and haven't uh, entered the giveaway, I'll go ahead and uh, post it here in the chat. Oh, come on, go away. There you go. Uh, you know, it's free for everybody. You don't have to be a member or anything like that. Everybody could sign up. Just make sure you click that link. Go and subscribe to all our channels. Uh, you can watch that quick little funny video that I did. Um, all right. So now we're going to come in with this. Uh, it's, it's like a really bright white. Bright blue if you can see it here on the edge here this see and we're gonna really just start kind of building it in from down here 
So from here on the edge, right? See, we have these these uh, this kind of background coming in. So I want to leave a little bit of that. And coming off of that, this is our final edge of our background here, the final final frontier. And I kind of want to just bring it around and bring those sun rays kind of in already. I did throw in some reducers, so it's it's. I already needed to build it up, but now I just kind of need to build it up more. It's not truly opaque white yet. You know, it's just it's still very, very light blue. So just building it in little by little. Right, you see, maybe this guy has a couple little sun rays coming off of him, right? There's one there, and there's one there. Bam. Here in the back, maybe there's just a random piece of the wreckage or something sticking out there, costing a little silhouette, right? Right there. Sometimes you have to let your imagination play with it a little bit. Like, uh, you know, not everything has to be so precise. Sometimes leaving it a little bit to the mind can be good. Bringing this back here. And you can see it's kind of sitting in all these like jagged rocks at the bottom of the beach. You know, at the bottom of the water is this wrecked pirate ship. Probably sitting there with treasure, you know, just nice and easy for somebody to take. Take some of this here. Right. I just want to make some of those like amoeba looking things, you know, kind of sticking out of that coral right there. So that. Just get a few of them there. And try a little different spot here. Get some over here. looks like the bottom of the of the seabed is like glowing you know in the night kind of nice little build up there so we get our highlights on our waves up at the top you know up here Build a general kind of a, uh, what would I call it, like a haze uh, here to outline our stencil, kind of going back. Get this in there. And we're going to just build a wave that's going kind of the opposite direction up here at the very top, just so that we could split off. We also have to paint the fuel rails on this project. So this will tie into the fuel rails. Uh, Again, if you want to see these finished projects and you just want to keep up with what kind of what's going around here sometimes, sometimes, because I don't, not everything goes on social media, but you know, some of the cool stuff like this definitely makes it. Make sure you go follow on Facebook, Instagram. Ah. Cool. 
So now all I'm going to do is take, oh man, I'm going to take some of the limelight green. Why not? Let's use the limelight green to build up our green. Uh, first here, our bright green. So I'm going to take some in, pour some in here. And I mean, these are very little amounts of paint I'm using, like, you know, we're not really, we're not mixing all that. Yeah, 4012 is kind of, um, I don't want to say it's like special use, but it's kind of more of a concentrated mix. And uh, even though I still like it, I feel like the 4011 is a little more forgiving and easier to use. Um, so I would recommend the 4011. The 4012 works though. Um, but I, I I'm, yeah, that's about all I could say. <laughs> So we have a nice bright green, right? And I'm gonna just kind of go ahead and give our seabed here a little bit of greenage. And again, because we're using the, the opaque paints, opaque paints, um, it makes it really easy to just like make stuff pop. And you don't even need to hit it in super good, like right there, right in there. Reduce it down a little bit. Build up our ledge there. And it's just the bottom of the seabed. All these sharks are looking for a bite to eat. So all the fish are hiding, you know, they're not really. This particular green, I think it's going to be a pretty good green to start building up our ship. We're going to kind of build it up in shades of green and then we're going to uh, tone it down with black. Like really make some silhouettes and stuff cut in. So I feel like that'll be a good good mix. Gonna throw some of it back up in here. See, now we got the bottom of the seabed. And again, maybe we've got some seaweed. Right? Maybe this one's just getting hit with the light. Make sure the bright green kind of sticks out. Now we have our little amoebas in there. We have our seaweed. We have, you know, kind of a shadowy shipwreck kind of going on back there. And all this stuff is kind of just blurred in. It's not really super detailed, nothing like that. So, what should we build first? I think we should mix the sharks first. So I'm gonna leave that green set and I'm gonna pick up a different airbrush here. Is that the head cover? Uh, this is the supercharger cover uh, for the top. So the, the LT4 engine has a supercharger kind of built into the engine. The intake is a supercharger, I think it is. <laughs> Something like that, it's crazy. The more I think about it, the more I want to swap one into my Camaro, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I just wonder how much it costs, like how much could I get an LT4 and transmission for? Maybe I don't even need the transmission, maybe I could just keep the one I have. I don't know, 
I would figure it would just probably be better to swap it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to mix up some gray. And we're going to start building up uh, our sharks here. And I'm just going to use the opaque white and a little bit of the wicked black, not the wicked jet black. I believe they're different because I have two different bottles here. They have two different numbers. There's a wicked jet black and a wicked black. I believe the wicked jet black is the new one. Uh, I believe. But I'm going to tint my uh, white down to make gray with the wicked black. They need to make uh, a wicked opaque gray. I feel like it's a necessity. And I'm just going to throw in a little bit of reducer here. Help these colors mix up. Again, we're going to build it up on there so we don't need it to be super there. Just do it. <laughs> Just do what? What are you talking about? All right. So all I want to do on these sharks is kind of hit, hit a little bit on the top. And basically all we're doing is going to make sure that we hit everything to the point where we work ourselves to the white, everything will be ready for the white. Um, you know, or everything will be ready for the black as well. So we're gonna remove this one here. And I'm just gonna start in with a little bit of the gray that we just mixed. I'm just gonna kinda start building up the, really just the top of the shark. Nothing too crazy here. We are going to, again, we're going to hit these with black and we're going to kind of define them in a little bit. But we need that top to be there so that we could um, give everything some sh shadowing and as well some detail with, with the black and bring in some white highlights when we're done. So that's pretty much it. Just, just hit the top of it. Nothing too crazy. And again, because we have all these ridges, it's something we're going to have to come back and do with the black anyway. Uh, those stencils are just really to give me the shape so I know what I'm doing. Your mo Oh, do my motor swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, if I had the money, I would. Like I said, it depends on how much it costs. Maybe I've, I'll find somebody with a wrecked Corvette or something that just doesn't want the motor and transmission anymore. <laughs> Throw it into the Dragon Ball Z Camaro, son. Oh, yeah. This is for those times when I drive it those five miles, you know, it'll be, it'll be the sweetest five miles. Watching the shark documentaries is kind of cool how they uh, talk about how the bottom of the shark bellies are white because that's what the, the other fish see from the bottom, you know, they just see the white of the shark. Um, so pretty interesting. And on this guy over here, I'm just going to hit a little bit right here, just a little bit. Then we're going to kind of build these in with the black. And a little bit of white and we're gonna make him look like the sun is hitting him on the top and all that good jazz so. Yeah, Tim, it was 76 hours of airbrushing total. It was a lot of fun, for sure. Uh, let's see here, got this gray in here. I'm just trying to see if there's anywhere I might need it real quick. I think we're good. 
I'm just gonna tone this down even more with some more of this wicked, wicked black. Yeah, I think if I had to do a motor swap, it'd be expensive because not only do I have to get like the motor and possibly the transmission, but I also have to get like a, a motor controller for it, right? Because I don't think my computer that I have in my car now would be able to run, you know, an, a brand new setup. So I'd have to get like a an independent like ignition system or something to run the motor. You know, it's just, it's, it sounds great until you start really looking at it. So I'm just going to use this darker, this is more of a medium gray now to build up the shape and overall look of our sharks here. Yeah, yeah, please hit that thumbs up if you like the video, if you want to see more like this. Also, if you haven't, if you didn't already know, we're running a giveaway right now. The link is over in the live chat. Make sure you go and click that link, get your entries in. Lots of cool stuff to give away. If you like these stencils I've been using for the, today's video, there's actually a whole extended set of each. Also, if you want to just buy them outright, you can. Uh, that's that mikesbrush.com. You can find the stencils available right there. taking some of this darker gray and throwing it on the seabed. Just gonna kind of just tone everything in together. Gives everything more of a laid back look. Peel this guy off right here. pretty much pretty much at the point where I could switch back over to the ship here um, I'm gonna let those sit again when we do the white we want to make sure everything's kind of ready for the white and I still have the green so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and what I should do first is actually build up the ship in black 
So I think that's what I'll do. I'll kind of get rid of this gray, which we don't need anymore. There's just a little bit left anyway. Right, because we got a good impression of the ship. We know where it goes. Now I need to go back and add in all the ship, you know, all the line, where all the lines, you know, for all the sails and all that stuff. So I'm just going to take some black. I'm going to try to spray this straight out of the bottle again. What up, JJ? How's it going? Thank you, thank you, sir, for joining the Skull Squad. Enjoy your time in the chat. Thank you, thank you, sir, for joining. And uh, for those of you who are watching or maybe, you know, wondering when the next live video will be, it'll actually be in two days. Um, I'm kind of doing a lot of commissions right now, obviously, because of stimulus season and all that. Stimulus and tax season all into one. Um, so we're getting a lot of influx of orders and stuff. So as we work our way through those, we'll make some videos and try to keep you guys all, you know, in the loop of everything. So. Alrighty. There we go. Now, I could just cut a stencil for all this, but I feel like where's the fun in that? <laughs> I want to build it up. I want to make sure there's like kind of like some algae kind of falling off of it and stuff. And that's why we're keeping that green uh, just locked and loaded and ready for when we get to that point. So right now, though, it's all about building up these lines and making sure the shape of the ship. Kind of makes sense.
so kind of went silent there trying to focus you know sorry sorry <laughs> um, so yeah I just got to kind of build up our ship here you guys gotta conversate man give me something to talk about it's hard to just come up with nothing trying to focus so I can't focus on what to talk about and what to paint at the same time unless I just talk about what I'm painting so I'm painting this lower deck right here make sure we get our nice outline of the ship good got a lot of the lines in there now in the picture there is a ton like a literal ton of lines like there is so many I'm not I'm not even sure if it's necessary <laughs> so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put some lines in there for sure maybe a little bit more but I feel like there's just way too many in the picture um, and I think it'll misconstrue what we're actually trying to paint here so yeah I'm using uh, for the black here, I'm using the GSI Creos airbrush, the PS289 uh, Magnificent Airbrush. One of my favorite airbrushes for sure. So we have some lines coming, coming from back here. Going right up in there. There you go. Maybe instead of putting like 10 lines, I'm only gonna put like three lines. <laughs> Some of these spots is just so many, so many lines. I think uh, it'll be too many. It'll just look, I think it'll look awkward. coming from up here going right down there bam and another one boom that's why there's so many lines because there's so many poles this ship obviously had a lot of sails if it's a real ship i don't think it is and we got like some lines kind of supporting this beam here cool this still goes up higher here. We have another one. Okay. Now we have some sagging lines, right? So we have some lines that kind of sag, kind of going this way, like so. Cool, getting there. Um, now we need to build up this whole other platform over here. Um, so he chose this shark uh, kind of theme because uh, his car is uh, the shark gray. So it's like a it's like a really nice uh, silver. Really, I don't know why they call it shark gray. It's it's a silver. And it's a really nice color. And uh, we've actually done other pieces before, some interior pieces. Uh, again with the sharks on it, so. And his license plate is Great Shark. It literally says GR8 uh, Shark. So, 
<laughs> um, actually, we have a video. Um, if you look it up, uh, there's a video of the vehicle on the channel. Yeah, what do we got? He's talking about getting some other pieces under the hood painted as well. Um, I know they do uh, like Corvette car shows and stuff like that, but um, I know in the Corvette kind of thing, it's, it's kind of they want to keep it tasteful, right? They don't want to kind of just extravagant airbrushing. Even though I think it'd be dope to paint one of the new Corvettes like super crazy, make it look super sick. I think it would be sick, but. You know, I don't know how many people <laughs> would, would hate me for that. Probably quite a few. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and build in the ship into the seabed here. Using a little bit of the black. Uh, just to kind of start fading it in over here. This is where it's kind of sitting broken. And it's some of the seabed is sticking up in front of it. And now that we have the black in here, we can kind of texturize our seabed a little bit using this and kind of any silhouettes of maybe some some seaweed right here, you know, anything like that. You can kind of build it in now. But that's why we laid that gray is just to be able to give us that nice little uh, feedback you know, when we lay the black, it'll have something to sit on. So you know, build up on what you made earlier. And just kind of outline it in. The seaweed there. Yeah, it, it literally does. It looks uh, it looks super amazing. I I believe his is uh, it's not the rear engine one, but it still looks like a freaking Ferrari. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a very amazing car. It's one of those cars you see it on the street and you're just like, wow. <laughs> like that's all you gotta say is wow. It doesn't even need any modifications or anything. You're just whoa, that's cool. You got that seabed kind of coming in there. You can look a little bit of the black. And you can see I'm kind of moving my stencil as I spray to give us a little bit of a different kind of a fade of effect, you know. We don't want everything to be super sharp. It almost looks like there's fishes moving back there, you know. go got, got that built in real real good bring you guys out a little bit see that seabed that seabed looks really good right there and once we throw the clear on it too all them tones are really gonna start popping in throwing the clear always makes a difference but here's what we've built up so far uh, I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, or I'm just gonna let you know. I'm gonna take a quick little run to the restroom and get myself a drink, and I'll be right back. Give me a couple minutes, guys.
All right, all right. Sorry about that. Cool. All right, so now I'm just gonna take some of this green that we've been just waiting so anxiously to use. And uh, I'm gonna kind of start building up maybe some of the wood of the, of the ship here. Not a whole lot. We are gonna kind of give it a nice little fade off into the back. We do want it to be dark, but I do, you know, over here where the light's hidden, you know, maybe just want a little bit of a, a little bit of action over here, right? And it's like maybe there was a little window right here or something. We can build that in right now, you know. Maybe there was a like a bigger bigger window right here. Kind of build it going down little strokes at a time doesn't have to be super detailed and and honestly if it looks a little rough it's it's quite okay because that'll give it the impression it's been it's been down there for a while you know it's not going to be in the best of shape again just kind of building it in slowly not trying to be super super dark right away. I'm just kind of, you know, slowly working my way around. <clears throat> so probably here at the halfway point is kind of where I'm going to cut off the line, the, the highlights here. that maybe there's a little bit of uh, stuff growing down from right here you know a little bit of algae off the deck rusts you know all that good jazz kind of just coming off of right there and then we're gonna do some kind of highlights on the lines here Just right here where the sun's kind of hitting it. Right. You start building up the impression that that it's kind of shaped, right? It's not just a shadow. It's, it just has a little bit of shape to it. And the sun's just hitting the edge just a little bit. And we're highlighting it with green. Not white, you know, nothing like that. And it's just like, oh, some of the light's just barely hitting on some of the spots, you know. It looks pretty good. But this green is, is kind of brighter than the background. And when you lay it in, it's almost the same brightness as the brightest a blue that we use there, right? So it makes it a good, nice little extra tone to throw into the ship here. And again, here at the halfway point, we probably start cutting off. Obviously, you see these, they're kind of going from side to side. So we want to highlight this side of it. Right over here, this side's kind of sticking out into the sun. Then as we go down, uh, less and less of it will have highlights. Right? So I'm gonna highlight some of this that's sticking out right here. All the way up there. Up to this side. Just put a highlight on some of these lines. There you go, you see that looks looks pretty good. And 
the reason I'm just kind of just doing them trying to swiftly too is because you want to kind of go over this little hump these little edges right these little ridges you kind of want to hit them quickly uh, and that'll create the least amount of uh, turbulence at the, at the cliff here so if you run your airbrush and you hold it there at that point it's gonna split the air longer so if you just do it kind of quickly over those ridges it'll produce a kind of a cleaner look as opposed to trying to do it nice and slow so just another pro tip make sure you just on those little spots you can kind of work quick and if you still have the black loaded right which I don't think we emptied it out if at any given time you want to add some more lines like say here I want to add from this peak kind of going over there you can just switch back over um, and do that <clears throat> Now you see this shark that landed kind of behind the lines here. We're going to kind of try to bring him back. So I actually want that shark to be on this side of the, of the ship. The ship is going to be farther back. It's obviously a huge ship, but I want to emphasize that the shark is kind of also big. These are big sharks. This is like far away. This is maybe a littler guy, but these are big, big boys, you know, hanging around the, the ship here. So we're going to go back and emphasize him here in a second and bring him back um, but, but for now I'm uh, just going to kind of bring in a little bit more highlights on the ship just on this top piece kind of going this way and using a highlight too is a good way of actually making stuff like appear like it's in front of something All right so if you go here on these particular lines I used it, you know, to cut this line in front of that other line in the back. So it kind of brings stuff to the forefront. Um, you know, so good little nice little tips there. And then I'm just going to kind of fade in a little bit of this green a little over here. Just so that when we want to cut in with the black, we can. But we most likely will. Maybe bring in a, a few little seaweeds here. Kind of sticking up around the ship and give it a last general look uh, over here on the seabed <clears throat> i feel like i'm talking really low am i talking low i don't know maybe it's just the music's too loud <laughs> i'm just trying to concentrate on what i'm doing honestly so I'm just Bring in the seaweed, little by little. Perfect. So now all I'm gonna do is mix in a little bit of this, what was this, thalo blue into our green mixture here. And uh, we're gonna start making a darker green. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit, not too much. Shake that up again real good. And we're gonna have a nice dark green. And we're gonna kind of work that around a little bit before we switch off to some white and really start getting these sharks um, nice and popping. And the camera can't decide how bright it wants to be. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Everybody having a good day? Um, also again, all, if you haven't already, we have a giveaway going. Oh my God. Oh, come on. There you go. Um, we have a giveaway going. Go and sign up there in that link. It's free for everybody. You don't have to be a Skull Squad member. You don't have to be, you know, nothing. Just go on there. All you have to do is all it's going to ask you is subscribe to me, Create Tex, uh, Spray Gunner, and Steve Leahy. Channels that you should probably already be subscribed to anyway, but I know there's people around here that maybe aren't aware of those channels or, or not sure, you know. Uh, but they're channels that I could recommend, I could stand by, and they're going to produce good videos for you guys. The Create Tex channel has been off the hook lately with uh, really good videos. Ray Gunner makes really good videos demonstrating, um, you know, the products they have available and that they bring to you guys. 
um, which is really, really helpful. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a, a more of a medium green. And I'm gonna kind of bring this in right off of our other green. Just a little bit. Use it to build up the detail. It's still pretty light, and you can see, and it, the wicked opaques, opaques, sh showing their strength here because even, you know, a medium green here still really pops on the black with just a little pass. very very little reduction going on but really don't need it I mean it sprays great straight out of the bottle this is kind of almost what I'm doing and yeah, just building up the detail going around oh yeah but like I was saying about the giveaway um, also if you're not familiar with Steve Leahy like he makes amazing videos like paintings on razor blades and stuff like you guys want to talk about precision um, he, he's kind of the man when it comes to really fine, super detail, like detail, micro detail, um, way more detail than I would probably ever put into a vehicle or anything like that. I could just imagine a vehicle with that kind of artwork would just almost be insane. Like I already feel crazy, you know, when we talk 76 hours onto the Camaro, you know, and that's doing like cartoonish type artwork, you know. Uh, if I was doing Steve Leahy type artwork, I mean, we're talking about hundreds of hours um, that could go into a piece. You know, if you talk about a hood and you want to cover it in that level of detail, like, whoa, whoa. But no doubt he will eventually get to that point where he's going to have vehicles and stuff. Motorcycles, I mean, he could he could totally start doing motorcycles and, and just make a kill in some. But anyway, go ahead and check him out. He's an awesome guy. Puts out not only videos about his artwork, but he also has like uh, tech tip videos. So he's trying to like, you know, making sure you guys know the quick little tips that we all do and use uh, to keep our airbrushes running, maybe tips to uh, um, create certain effects and stuff like that. I've seen him do kind of, he has like a lot of good videos. Just go and check him out. Jesus. <laughs> um, all right, so using that green went around, um, looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna lay in some more. I'm gonna actually dump out some of this and then, and then add some more thalo blue because now I really just want it nice and, and dark for the last layer of detail here on this ship before we start adding some whites and kind of highlight everything in. And then we'll go back and cut some details in with the black. Um, but we'll be pretty much done after that. And it looks pretty good. The white is going to go and really fill in those sharks really good because we're going to be able to do those little sun rays over the top of them and stuff and then cut in with the black. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. See that, that color there? It's not really a green. It's, it's like a teal. So that's going to look good. This final color, we could actually lay the detail kind of coming back in a little farther, right? And it's, it's a little bit darker. Blend it into our other color we were doing. Oh, I like this color. The Wicked Opaques, man, look at that. It even pops on black. On black, you could build your artwork up on black.
See, and then this part here, this is kind of where the ship's broken, right? So this is kind of where I'm going to just kind of create an edge here of broken. Kind of bring that back a little bit. Right, you see that there? And so we got the whole ship kind of coming in and then dark area and then it's broken. And uh, kind, of, kind of bring in some details from the other side here. You could take a guess of what kind of treasures lay inside of there. See that there? You take some of this teal and just kind of lay it in right here over the screen. Blend it all in together nice. And I want the ship to kind of have that separate color, right? So you can tell it's not part of the ocean bed. That came from somewhere else. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a little bit of cutting in with the black here, just on this ship, here on this broken edge, maybe on these windows a little bit. <clears throat> Pretty good. Some of this in here. There you go. Ship in there. Looks pretty good, I would say. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys a quick head on look. There you go. Kind of got the, the ship in there, the seabed, all of that. Now let's focus on these sharks. And in order to do that, we're going to need a little bit of whites. <clears throat> which we're first going to use to build up a little bit of the sun rays and this uh, brightness of the water here uh, first. And then we're going to come back and <clears throat> start layering in some details there. So just got to rinse this uh, teal out. Leaving the black so that we can use the black again because we're going to use the to cut in.
You know, I wonder if the supercharger off the LT4 would just fit onto my engine. I don't know. Just gets me to thinking. <laughs> terrible thoughts, terrible, terrible thoughts. That sounds like money, man. It sounds like so much money. Okay, we're gonna take some of this uh, opaque white, opaque white, and <clears throat> we're gonna start working in. I'm gonna throw about 5% reducer in here just to uh, help it flow and also to make it easier to build up on here. Alright, so for these sharks, I need to try to find uh, the shark that goes here, right, like this. I'm just going to take a little bit of this white and we're going to hit it around. Hit it around this guy just a little bit. Because he's kind of sitting in that bright spot, so we're going to just take advantage of that just to bring him in right there. Bang. Bango, bango. Look at him. Nice and, nice and in that glowy area. <clears throat> so first, I'm just going to hit the highlights real quick coming down. Make him pass our ship here over the top of the black. Got that. Get these little waves up here in there. All right, just to get them out of the way. And these are where the light rays are kind of coming in. Guys, just over here splashing around, having a good old time. All right. Get some of these over here on this opposite end. Bingo, bango. <laughs> I don't know where I heard that, but that <laughs> it's like stuck in my head. Bingo, bango. All right. So now I think I should start with the sharks instead of the uh, ship. But you can almost see the end. And actually, before I do this, I'm just going to take the black. All right now that we're at this point, I'm going to take the black. And I'm just going to give these kind of a quick little, little shadow around the edge. We want to make sure these pop out. Damn. 
go ahead and do that to all of them real quick just so we can make sure we got them all in there. This is the part where this shark comes back to the forefront, right? Because we're going to outline him in with this black. And then when we throw the white highlights on him, he's really going to come just screaming back to the front. So now he's already kind of in front of those lines. And once we cut in with the white, <clears throat> he's really going to come up to the forefront right there. We'll just hit these sharks up here. What up, Dennis? How's it going? I hope I didn't catch you at work. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to go live a little bit early today too because uh, I knew it was going to take me a while. So I feel like I could stand back up. <sighs> I need to actually move you guys over a little bit. So now I'm going to take some of this white here and first off we're going to build up the, the shark's kind of belly. I'm trying to think uh, it's kind of the best way to go about the belly here. Yeah these should be just fine. So I'm just going to use a little bit of white to just kind of mark off the belly side of the shark like this. Just a little bit. We want to leave the black kind of going in. And I want it to be white but not super, super pronounced. We're going to come back in with the white highlight like this. Now the light rays across the top and I just freehand them in. Kind of side to side action. see the wicked opaque white like you can really make it pop it really pops it goes chipping chipping chi wally wally chipping chipping all right we got those light rays right across that top that shark Let's see here 
get in the way of the one camera to make sure I prioritize the other camera. <laughs> hey, you see this fin up here? That's the fin that's like splashing out in the water. So I'm going to just kind of create some splashes kind of right around that. And build some lot of light rays around it. Light rays on the fin here. Alright. Build up his eye real quick. And we could probably put in some teeth. Some nice big black shark eye. And uh, let me see if we can build up his mouth a little bit. Sure, let's put in a few teeth in there using this white. <clears throat> What's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going? Kind of going to go in there with the detail real quick. And I'm going to cut back in with the mouth with some black. And just a little bit of those bottom teeth are going to show in. subdue those teeth in there we don't want them to be all super bright because you know he is kind of in the shadow right there that looks pretty good and considering he's that little all right moving on to the next one we'll make it this guy right here so I'm just gonna start building up the sun rays. And this is one of those where you gotta kinda make sure you hit the edge at the right angle. And just kind of going silent while I focus.
So where is this guy at right here? Take that. Why is this camera so bright? Let's see. At this angle too, you get all the shadows, so it's really hard to see. I really think this camera is a better job of actually, because you're standing kind of farther away. It's a little bit better. <laughs> it just looks awkward because of all these ridges. Anyway. Uh, let's focus up this guy up here. You have a bad habit of holding your breath. <clears throat> yeah, I would, I would advise against holding your breath. <laughs> it's all about keeping a nice, relaxed. You know, just just chill out a little bit. looks pretty good that guy looks good just like that and let's not do anything more to him um, he kind of he looks like he's just the lights hitting him in that dark area there um, not too much more needed than that um, so let's get this last guy over on this side um, before we focus this one so let's just just get that one out of the way and you know, all I'm doing is kind of highlighting their belly. You know, again, the bottom of the belly of the sharks are kind of white. So I'm just kind of going in, creating a little white highlight for the belly. Right? Creating a little texture around the edge of that. And then I'm building up the, the highlight on the top along with uh, sun rays. So like sun rays kind of, you know, when you're underwater, and the sun kind of makes those squiggly lines all over the floor and stuff. Um, so that's what we're doing on the top of the sharks. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix some of that in here. We have the sun rays kind of coming in. So I'm going to maybe just throw a little bit of those squiggly lines kind of down on, on some of this. Highlight the ship with the white. And yeah. So this is kind of one of the final steps just to really make the artwork kind of pop and lay the white highlights over everything.
<clears throat> After this, I'm gonna get myself something to eat. The boy's starting to get hungry. And I'm actually starting to feel better. So the past yesterday and stuff, I was not feeling too good. And uh, yeah, let's just say I wasn't feeling too good. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was not eating and stuff. So it's nice to feel hunger. and white and then we just subdue them with a little bit of black perfect and that gives us that guy right there and uh, I'll show you a, a good head-on shot once we're finished um, so I know it's hard to really kind of tell what's going on with the ridges you get a good general idea but the ridges kind of do make it hard to uh, decipher what's really happening here so but I'll, I'll give you guys a good look once I'm finished. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. 50 nuts coming in with the airbrushes. And this guy, this guy's just close up to the wreckage. He's just checking it out. He's like, what's all this stuff down here, you know? He's also seeing if he could catch a fish off guard, you know? Maybe catch, catch one of them sleeping. So yeah, he's going right in there. Yeah, the brightness on this camera just wants to like freak out any kind of any kind of too much light and it's just like ah it's light the bright light so, you know, i can start moving you guys in on this one though see that let's get this last guy in there done and then we can add our highlights around the ship and the seabed maybe add some bubbles coming up something like that and i think we're almost done Almost done.
Yeah, this is for that same car. That looks good. Now let's throw some white highlights on it, yeah? Let's throw some of that magic, magic pop. So first, let's kind of do this first little, the most forefront layer here. And we did some seaweed. We kind of did some coral, some amoebas here. And we're just gonna kind of highlight the stuff that we did. Here's those amoebas kind of sticking out here. That's really just going to make everything to kind of make it look like it's nice and, and glowing in that sunlight, you know. The new setup. Um, it's, uh, it's going great. I, I'm not sure. Do you mean just in general the setup? Yeah, it's, it's been working really good. The new desks and stuff. But like, again, like I said, in two days we're going to come back. And there's the project we'll be doing. <laughs> the, the fairing that's up there is... It's the next couple days, um, and I'll just I'm gonna try to just, just live stream them, cause uh, I'm just usually just sitting here by myself painting anyway. And I usually I do have a movie going or something to keep me entertained, but it's nice to have you guys to talk to sometimes, you know. I feel like I won't go as crazy if I can at least talk to somebody. Sometimes you leave me alone with my own thoughts and. I start talking gibberish, I, you know. <laughs> you know how it is, man. Start blurring the lines between what I think and what I know. Oh yeah, the new paint area is, is nice. Um, like I have this this set up kind of right now, so if I'm working on this bottom, I'm sitting on my stool when I'm like perfect height, but I could also stand up and, and work just perfect. Having all the extra spaces really helped, um, especially because the, the stencil area is starting to expand. And um, yeah. It's, it was something that I kind of just, you know, as a way of offering you guys, uh, you know, just a better, better product, you know, or the same product, a better price. And now I'm just thinking like, man, we could really push the quality on these. And I've ordered myself some new tools and yeah, hopefully here going forward, we'll be able to just completely uh, make the stencils kind of a, a thing it's already a thing but make it like you know more more of a thing so I have these bubbles here and just throw some of these guys kind of floating up see that Cool. 
It's got all that that foreground kind of shaded in right there and highlighted in. We got our nice little sharky guy down here. Let's see if the focus is there. You go. If the focus is right. <clears throat> so we got all that in there. It's nice and it has green tones, gray tones, blue. We got a little bit of highlights on it and it kind of leads up into our back shaded blue area. We've got our, our highlights coming in. Pretty good. We'll throw some white highlights on the ship. And again, I'm just working the white highlights into the the greens that we had already done. I'm not really trying to redefine what we already painted. I'm just going to go back and accent it, right? So, just a little bit of a highlight here and there. And this, the opaque white, like I said, man, them highlights pop. You see me? I'm just barely stroking them in, and they, they're popping. They ain't playing when you when you lay them in. So just be ready. <laughs> yeah, you missed the lives. We're gonna uh, hopefully, you know, we're gonna start producing a lot more lives. It's just it's hard sometimes because I'm busy and I need it. I need to match deadlines. That's the reason why I, you know I went live early today. It's like I had it ready. It's like I'm ready to go. Might as well just let's do that go and like get it going. Why wait for tomorrow for what you can get done today, right? See, I'm just slowly working in the white, little, little white highlights, nothing too crazy. I'm just highlighting here where it's broken and I'm probably only going to highlight this side. I'm going to throw a little bit of highlights here on the top, kind of this deck area here where it's kind of slumped over and then maybe just a few right on the top sides of these, but not the whole thing. Just you see that that's it. That's that's all I'm doing. Just just that little bit. Highlights on this little bit of C structure down at the bottom. Just a tad bit, nothing too crazy. There you go. That looks pretty good, just like that. Let's not touch it too much. Now, when it comes to these sail uh, lines and stuff, um, I think. I want to just throw a little bit just on some of these. So just a very light highlight on some.
Just like that. That looks good. I think that looks good. Well, maybe. Maybe just a little bit right here. It's always hard to know when to stop. It's like, I know I could highlight it all. But I shouldn't. That's, that's what you should remember. So yes, you could. But should you? No. No, you shouldn't. You should only highlight bits. There. There. Enough. Stop touching it. Let's see. Uh, actually, before we finally commit to stopping, I'm just going to hit these sun rays. Just one quick one. Coming in off the top there. Brighten those in. There you go. And then maybe this guy here, he maybe he has a sun ray coming off of his uh, fin there, off his nose, and maybe one off his back tail flipper there. Yeah, just to kind of give it a more, even more dramatic. So this guy has one off his thing too. Oh look, let's not forget to highlight his uh, back fin. Bring a highlight off of it. Bang. Bingo, bango. That looks really good. I think I'm going to stop there while I'm ahead. And let's give you guys a good look. Ugh. Stand up. Old man, stand up, old man. All right, let's see. So let's bring you guys over this way. Let's drop you down. Yeah, some pirate music would be awesome. There you go. Um, yeah, that's about as good a shot as I'm gonna get. I can try to move the lights around. Let's see here. Uh, this just makes it worse. I'm gonna flip this away. I don't know. The camera's always gonna kind of self-adjust to it anyway. But there you go. Considering we have all those little ridges, and you guys are seeing a lot darker shadows than I'm actually seeing. The shadows are not so dark, especially like here and here. It kind of looks more like how, it, the way it looks in here on the camera is kind of more of what I see on this. But uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys liked that. Hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two, got a little tip or trick or two. Um, yeah. Again, the Wicked Opaques work amazing the wicked opaques um just to keep just to keep tickling your bone the wicked opaques um work amazing again we just worked directly with the wicked opaques for all of this uh right on the black we didn't have to lay white to build up the color or anything like that we just directly the wicked opaques like with small reduction works amazing so Hopefully you guys like that. Thank you, Stephen Ward. Thank you, James Melton. What's up, Irby? Oh, you're the one that said pirate music. <laughs> right on, right on. Thank you, everybody. Again, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you guys all have entered the giveaway. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll see you guys again. Like I said, I'll be back in a couple days. We're going to get uh, that that fairing all prepped up and everything i'll finish up the fuel roll covers for this tomorrow and then we'll come back in a couple days and yeah we'll we'll get that fairing going that has a skull with some guns kind of going on it so if you're into skulls and stuff that'll be the that'll be kind of what's happening um what else i think that's it
Thank you guys all for hanging out. I'll mention the giveaway one last time. If you haven't already, make sure you go enter the giveaway. It's free for everybody to enter. So even if you're not a member of the Skull Squad, you can still enter anyway. It's free for everybody to enter. It's a big shout out to our sponsors, Createx, for providing the paint for uh, the live stream videos. Not, not, well, yeah, this one too, I guess. Shout out to Createx for providing the paint for today's video. <laughs> uh, shout out to Spray Gunner. Again, uh, they provide the links. So if you guys are looking for good deals on airbrush stuff, go down below the video. There's links where you can guys order yourself some cool stuff. Um, also, make sure you sign up the giveaway. Make sure you go and uh, say what's up to Steve Leahy over on his channel. Steve Leahy? Steve Leahy? I don't know how you properly pronunciate, but uh, you know, it doesn't you know what i'm saying and that's what matters make sure you go and say what's up to him over on his channel uh yeah we'll see you guys in two days later guys thanks for hanging out thank you jj thank you thank you